Imagine having a body tattoo which contains living bacteria that are producing therapeutics in your body and treating various diseases. If this sounds to you like the latter from a distant future or science fiction movie, you're wrong. Actually, that is something that I'm currently working on on my PhD thesis. I'm focused on making living therapeutic materials, currently known as the next pillar of medicine. But let us start from the very beginning of the whole idea, right here in the nature. In my background, there is seemingly ordinary lake with a special characteristic, high salinity. That creates a serious threat to its inhabitants, including microorganisms. But microorganisms, especially bacteria, are incredibly smart how they overcome this extreme living environment. But here's the catch. They secrete a magic molecule called actin. Actin behaves like a magnet for water molecules, attracting them around itself and providing a good hydration level to the cell. This is exactly what inspired me to explore the possibilities in applied sciences, to close the gap between the nature germs and lab bench work and merge them into the one using innovative methods from synthetic biology. I found that my research could have a significant impact on ophthalmology, as the current treatment option for eye diseases failed to meet the goals. As my PhD thesis aimed to develop living therapeutic materials, I start by engineering a bacteria to produce therapeutic actin molecules in sufficient quantities to treat eye diseases that are triggered by dehydration of the eye surface. However, to make this idea fully functional and applicable, it's crucial to integrate interdisciplinary fields. Luckily, I found my missing puzzle piece in material sciences, which is an essential aspect in developing new nanomaterials to support the production and drug delivery for the treatment of eye diseases. Therefore, I decided to go in the direction of 3D printed tattoos containing engineered bacteria as a new generation of drugs. And this is just the, the beginning of what can be done with synthetic biology. And I hope that this journey from nature to the lab has shown its potential and inspired you to go and seek for the next nature hidden journey. Thank you for your attention.